Rumors are swirling around a potential acquisition by the Philippine Navy, as reports suggest that the United Kingdom is offering two Type 23 frigates, HMS Westminster, F-237, and HMS Argyle, F-231, at a reduced price. These advanced warships, recently upgraded and now being decommissioned by the Royal Navy, are reportedly available for purchase as the UK transitions to its newer Type 26 frigates. The UK's decision to offload these vessels comes amid personnel shortages and a need to streamline their fleet, prompting them to offer the Type 23 frigates to allied nations at a discounted rate. For the Philippines, this presents a tantalizing opportunity to enhance its naval capabilities with battle-proven, sophisticated warships at a fraction of the cost. However, the potential acquisition has sparked debate among defense analysts and policymakers in the Philippines. On one hand, HMS Westminster and HMS Argyle, known for their cutting-edge weapon systems and versatility in both anti-aircraft and anti-submarine warfare, would significantly bolster the Philippines' maritime defense. These frigates could play a crucial role in securing the country's territorial waters, particularly in the volatile South China Sea, where tensions with China continue to escalate. On the other hand, concerns are being raised about the financial implications of such a purchase. While the discounted price makes the deal attractive, some argue that the long-term costs associated with maintenance, training, and integration of these ships into the Philippine fleet could strain the defense budget. Additionally, questions remain about whether these older vessels, despite their recent upgrades, align with the Philippines' long-term naval strategy and future operational requirements. A source within the Philippine Navy, speaking on condition of anonymity, acknowledged the potential benefits of acquiring these warships but also cautioned against a hasty decision. The opportunity to acquire these highly capable frigates at a reduced price is appealing, but we must consider the full spectrum of costs and strategic implications. It's not just about adding assets, it's about ensuring they fit our broader defense objectives. The potential deal also raises questions about the Philippines' broader defense partnerships. The offer from the UK could signal a deepening of defense ties between the two nations, potentially paving the way for further cooperation in areas such as training, joint exercises, and technology transfer. However, it also places the Philippines at a crossroads in terms of balancing its defense relations with other key allies, particularly the United States, which has been a long-standing partner in the region. As discussions continue, the Philippine government will need to carefully weigh the advantages of acquiring these Type 23 frigates against the financial and strategic challenges they may present. The decision will likely hinge on whether the benefits of enhancing the Navy's capabilities in the short term justify the potential long-term costs. With the South China Sea remaining a hotspot of geopolitical tension, the Philippine Navy's interest in these advanced frigates underscores the pressing need to bolster its maritime defense. However, whether this acquisition is the best path forward remains to be seen, as the nation grapples with the complex realities of modernizing its military while managing limited resources. In the coming weeks, all eyes will be on the Philippine government's decision-making process, as the potential acquisition of HMS Westminster and HMS Argyle could have far-reaching implications for the country's defense posture and its role in the increasingly contested waters of the Indo-Pacific.